Hey, what's up guys? Flick here and welcome back to another episode of Landon Donovan's Road to the U.S. Men's National Team. And as you guys can see, we have the full silver side, which is very exciting. But at the end of the last episode, I asked you guys to leave some player suggestions for me to upgrade to. And I've chosen two players to upgrade to. First off is going to be our center attacking mid. Wynn has been an alright player, he's very balanced, but we want to move on up to the gold position and we're going to do just that, upgrading to Bedoya. And this guy might not have the same amount of stats, but I think he can still perform well in game. But of course that leaves one other player to upgrade and I've decided to go with Inform Josie Altidore. Some of you guys wanted me to keep Zardes, but I decided to go with the Inform upgrade just so we can get some Informs into the team. And let's be honest, Altidore looks like quite the card. I think he's going to be a big aerial threat for us. Of course, with us progressing through the series quite rapidly, this series is going to be wrapping up fairly soon. So keep in mind some other players that you might want me to do a Road to Glory with. If you guys want me to continue an Ultimate Team series like this, maybe leave some legend suggestions down in the comment section below or some high rated players that you might want me to use. With that cleared up and the squad sorted, let's get into our first game and try to get some more upgrades. Hopping into the match highlights, this episode will feature a couple of expensive teams. This one included Ronaldo Griezmann and Inform Bale up top for this guy, and they were some dangerous players to deal with. It was Ronaldo who got the first goal in the game, probably the weakest goal you will see Ronaldo score with that header. But it was a goal nonetheless and allowed my opponent to have the momentum in this game. And now it's Modric playing through Griezmann. He's going to be able to cut inside right here and a nice change of directions with the Berber spin. I have to apply that combination of skill moves. It was nice. And when you can see a good goal, you have to applaud it. That gave my opponent the 2-0 lead though. And I was a bit worried at this point early in the game. I thought this might be a thrashing with that this kind of team that I'm playing. But eventually it was an overcommitted tackle by my opponent and we were able to capitalize on it. Donovan making it 2-1 for us in the 25th minute. Unfortunately, we go into half still down 2-1, but we had the opportunity to get back in this game and we just needed one turn of events. We tried to do it on a couple set pieces. Beckerman unfortunately unable to get that one on frame, but the second half was a different story than the first half. We were finally getting some shots and testing Manuel Neuer, but here Graham Zussi playing this one inside. It's Bedoya. He's going to run away from his defense, change his direction, has a shot. Manuel Neuer once again again making the save. My strategy was to just get shots on target and maybe we could get a rebound goal or something along the lines of that. But here Bedoya just plowing through his defense and eventually it gets in the back of the net. Manuel Neuer got a piece of it but it wasn't enough and we were able to make it 2-2 two to two in the 79th minute. That allowed us to go into extra time despite being dominated in the stats. If you saw those stats you would think that my opponent had the win for sure, but we just capitalized on our opportunities and we use the momentum to our advantage here. Donovan skipping by his defense. Manuel Neuer pulls off a good double save and he's able to clear that one out. But again, another opportunity for us. Donovan here on the left-hand side trying to get through his defense. It's DeMarcos who's unable to clear it out with the pass. Beasley with the shot from outside the box. Wasn't expecting much at the time, but like I said, we get the rebound goal and Bedoya making scenes on his debut match, picking up two goals and allowing us to get the 3-2 win despite not having as many shots as my opponent. But Bedoya picks up the man of the match with the two goals. Donovan also got a goal in this game as well as one assist, which means we're going to be able to get a couple upgrades into the team before our next match. Well, the hot streak of wins is just continuing for us. A 3-2 win and Donovan contributing to two of the goals means we're going to get two upgrades into the team. The first player we're going to upgrade is Bill Hamid to a non-rare gold. And he has been quite the keeper for us. And I think I might use his rare gold upgrade card here in the future. But for the non-rare gold, we've decided to go with Brad Guzan. A very balanced card. And some of you guys said that he's very good in game. So I figured we might as well try him out. And hopefully he does perform for the team. And the next player we're going to upgrade is Kyle Beckerman. He's been fantastic. Of course, he scored that incredible long shot goal uh, in the last episode, but we're going to be upgrading to a non-rare gold, and it's actually going to be a center midfielder, if we can scroll over to that position, and we've decided to go with Filehaber. He does have 75 dribbling, 77 passing, so he's going to be a presence in the midfield. He might not be a proper CDM, but I still think he's going to perform for the team quite well, and it's good to get some more MLS players into the team. But with this team in mind, let's get into their next game and try to get more upgrades. Our second opponent had a much less expensive side, 
but it was still a good team nonetheless. A league, uh, Bundesliga hybrid with Sherla, Cavani, and Lucas up top. Some budget players that play quite well in game, and that was pretty clear through Lucas's first goal, going cross body and able to get the 1 0 lead early on. Not the start we were looking for, but here's Yedlin taking it away from David Alaba and trying to use as much of that free space as he could. Eventually, played it through to Donovan. Donovan trying to find Josie Outsdoor, but it falls to Donovan once again, and he's not going to miss from there. You you cannot expect a legend not to score from inside the box from right there. He's going to put those away every single time and we're right back into the game. This time, Josie playing it through to Donovan and he just about gets to it. He's going to look across the pitch, seeing that run, LBXs it, and it was a good save by Trap. If that would have gone in, that would have been amazing. But we go into halftime, one to one, not too many chances for either team. But we're going to push on to the second half. Try to create some more goals. And it's Josie rising above the rest and picking up his first goal for the team. And of course it was a header. He is just taller, stronger, better at heading than everyone inside that box. And it was clear from that corner kick. That's just how you have to use him. He's a target man. And you need to play accordingly. Unfortunately, Lucas picked up a rebound goal later in the game. But in the 90th minute, we were trying to seal the deal, not going to extra time in this match, and we had a chance. If Donovan would have controlled that a bit better and cleared it up to some free space, we could have potentially scored, but we go into extra time once again, which gives us an opportunity to score some more goals, and that was what I was looking for. Here, Donovan, running along the left-hand side, keeps it in bounds, crosses it in, and once again, it's Altidore heading it home and gives us the 3-2 advantage, which was a big goal for us. But here, Serge Aurier is able to find Lucas. He cuts inside with the Berber spin, and Lucas playing it across and falls to Sherla. I was trying to clear it out with the X button, but Yedlin takes him out. So frustrating, and it reminded me of a certain pro clubs clip. <laughs> no! 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 I held down X to clear it! Why did you slide? But we did go on to try to save this penalty kick, and I thought I might have saved this one. I was trying to play mind games with my opponent, but unfortunately Cavani was able to bury it, making it 3-3. Three three. And now Lucas once again gets the ball here on the right-hand side. He was going to Lucas on the right side pretty much every time he attacked. He was basically neglecting Sherlaw on the left, but it was a big block by our defense there. I think it might have been Yedlin even who made the block, so kind of coming back after his big mistake and making a good block right here but not a good clearance by my opponent we're able to come right back Bedoya finds Altador and look at this for a touch Donovan able to bring it to some free space I'm not gonna lie that was not intentional but we're able to get the fourth goal and that allowed us to get the win four to three great game and we were so Clinical on our shots. Donovan able to pick up two goals alongside Altidore's two goals. Donovan also picking up two assists in that game, which will give us a couple of upgrades before our next match. Let's get into those upgrades. A 4-3 win and Donovan contributing to four of the goals means we're going to get three upgrades into the team. And it's good to get, finally, a good amount of upgrades. And the first player we're going to upgrade is Aiko Para. It's tough to upgrade this guy with 86 pace at a center back, but there's a plethora of of gold options uh, for the US team. But of course, there's no non-rare gold, so we've had to skip right into the rare gold stage, and John Anthony Brooks is gonna be a player that we're gonna upgrade to. Of course, he scored in the World Cup, and he definitely fits into this side quite well. And speaking of which, we're gonna get another player from the Bundesliga here. And again, there's no non-rare golds, so we're gonna go right to the rare gold stage. It's Fabian Johnson's upgraded card. Looks amazing. 87 passing, or 87 pace, 66 shooting, 75 passing, 78 dribbling. He's so balanced and he's just going to be able to go up and down the pitch, get up to those crosses in, and he's going to be a fantastic player for us. And finally, I've chosen to upgrade Inform Altidore. He played all right for us, but I do want to get, uh, of course, a certain player in mind. Plays for the Sounders, and it's going to be Clint Dempsey. He's got four-star skills. He's got good shooting. He's a pretty decent striker, and I think him alongside uh, Donovan is going to be amazing up front. But there are the three upgrades, and that doesn't leave too many positions left to upgrade to. But we're going to get into our final match, try to pick up a win. Match number three once again featured an expensive side with Hiro Aguero, as well as striker Sanchez, with a nice looking 
4-3-1-2 BPL side, which plays incredibly well in Ultimate Team if you know how to pass correctly. But Josh Gat creating the first opportunity in the game, and I figured we might as well stick with the theme of crosses since they were working so well for us. And Donovan made it 1-0 for us in the second minute, and that dictated the passing and the momentum of this game. But Dolly now looking again for Gat, and I figured let's cross it in once again, and Donovan was not the one to score this one. It was Dempsey getting in on the action. The Donovan Dempsey link up play. And we were just using the wings so much in this game. Now Johnson trying to swing it in. And Johnson adds so much more to this team than Zussi did. Zussi was a bit lacking in the pace, but now that we have Johnson on the left, Gat on the right, we can really exploit the wings and cross it in if we see fit. We're just trying to get some shots here on target. My opponent was unable to clear it out. Eventually, Donovan tries to get another shot, and it does fall to Clint Dempsey. He buries it in the back of the net, but it was called back for some reason. Still not sure why it was, but a crucial mistake here by my opponent, Hugh Reese, not able to get back in the net in time, and we were able to make it 3-0 before halftime. And at this point, I knew we were going to get a lot of upgrades, and I was trying to get some more goals so we can get the maximum of five upgrades and just get some more goal players into this side here Clint Dempsey trying to get that fourth goal for us showing off a couple of skill moves and some LTRT dribbling he goes with a finesse shot it was left footed if he would have gone right footed I think that would have gone in because for some reason it just works it's it's worked so often for Donovan but Donovan again with a finesse shot makes it 4-0 for us and Hugo Lloris ne didn't necessarily have a bad game, but we just had so many opportunities that he wasn't able to save all of them. My opponent finally gets some chances here late in the game. Sterling with a shot in the 88th minute, but Guzan able to collect it comfortably. And the match ends at 4-0. We were dominating in pretty much every stat. Donvin got three goals in that game alongside Dempsey's one goal. No assist this time for Donovan as well as his man of the match performance, but because we got the 4-0 win, we're going to get quite a few upgrades into the team. A massive 4-0 win and Donovan helping get three of those goals means we're going to get the maximum of five upgrades in the next episode. And continuing with the theme of previous episodes, I'm going to let you guys decide on those players. There's not too many players left to upgrade to, but there are a few options at the center back position. And just keep in mind that we're not going to be able to upgrade some of these players. Beasley and uh, Yedlin are actually the highest rated players that we can get into this team. So just keep that in mind as you leave your player suggestions. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Donovan's Road to the U.S. Men's National Team. If you have, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.